I'm over here on tron.network slash index. This is the website for Tron, an ERC-20 token that will be launching its mainnet really soon. Count on of the Tron mainnet only one day and 11 hours. So it turns out that Tron is another ERC-20 token that's launching its mainnet similar to EOS. Okay, so Tron is launching on the tw uh, 31st and EOS is launching on the 2nd. Okay, these are two... Uh, platforms, blockchain platforms that are very hype right now in the blockchain space. Today, we're going to be talking about Tron versus EOS. It's the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for kabooming the like and the subscribe. If you haven't already, I need you to kaboom the like and the subscribe right now. Become a boomer in the blockchain battlefield trenches with the best of them. Kaboom the like and the subscribe right now, guys. Getting straight to it. Tron versus EOS. Tron's about to launch. I didn't even know about this. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I've kept my eyes on Tron, but I haven't been that attracted to it. From the research that I've done, I see some similarities between Tron and Steemit. I see that Tron will be focusing on the gaming industry and content creation and somehow allowing users to monetize their content. One thing I did notice about Tron when it first came out, guys, Tron had a trading volume higher than Bitcoin at once, which really caught my attention. It seems like Tron is big out there in Asia and the Asian markets. Looking at the coin market caps today, Tron is down 2.38% today, trading at six cents. Now let's compare it over to EOS. EOS is trading at $11.87 today. It's also down 2%. So there's, you know, there's a lot of debate on the markets as to which one is the Kaboomer. They're both launching and uh, I wanted to cover it because Tron does seem attractive. Uh, it does have some hype on it. So let's look at uh, a little bit more. There's two articles here uh, that I have linked down below that I got, want you guys to read. It goes into more detail as to uh, the pros and cons here. This article on globalcoin.com, Tron, Tron versus EOS which is the better coin for you. You could read a little bit more about it. I'll have it linked down below. It talks about the platform. EOS wants to become a real blockchain because it had a lot of criticism about its authenticity. It has performed well, but doubts still remain about its technology. Yes, doubts still remain. There's a lot of fudsters out there uh, that don't believe in the EOS. Uh, EOS main aim is to make it easier and cheaper to trade crypto assets. But for that, they need to become a real coin. Everybody trusts. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, you know, Champagne is behind EOS. I'm a believer, but it's important to do your own research because, again, there's some people that doubt EOS. Okay, Tron idea is different. They want to decentralize the web and transform the gaming industry. They want to ultimately become a platform for content creation and not a financial service or asset only. So they're not necessarily competing in the same space, but we do see some similarities in the fact that they're both launching basically almost on the same day, two days apart. Uh, both of them are ERC-20 tokens right now, which means they exist on the Ethereum networks and the uh, tokens that exist right now are basically IOUs. So when the real Tron and EOS blockchain launches, you could redeem those tokens. Now, as far as redeeming the Tron tokens when it launches, I have no idea. I haven't done enough research. I would invite you to comment down below if you know about registering your Tron tokens or the process that it takes to receive those trons once the main net has launched. I do have a video for the EOS tokens for registration that explains how to register in my Ether wallet. You could also register with one click on the Exodus wallet. There's this other article link that I have down below, uh, EOS versus Tron, which one should you add to your perform per portfolio, excuse me. And I see these two articles have sim sim similarities. Perhaps they were written by the same person or uh, so someone... Uh, copied the information one is by Ali the other one's by uh one is by Ali Kamar over there on uh, Global Coin Report, and the other one is by uh, Noah Nora Barnes on Stock Gazette. This one's published first, so perhaps the one over there uh, took some information from this article on Crypto Gazette. Uh, you know, explains more about which one has been performing. This past week, it looks like Tron has performed a little bit better than EOS leading up to the launch, but uh, you know, EOS has a larger coin market cap. Me personally, you know, I'm I'm focused on EOS, but you know, this has has caught my attention Tron about to launch and similarities you know so I I like to you know pair them together see you know which one's gonna have the better launch okay and uh, you guys could check out the Tron website I'll have it linked down below has the countdown and uh, here's some dApps that are running on on Tron already or said to be running on Tron there's one called gift 2 this is the first project incubation project of Binance and uh, there's other ones like game.com kitty live 
Odyssey and whatnot. Um, you know, comparing Tron versus uh, EOS, I do see that EOS, if you go over here to EOS Index, okay, this is a directory of projects based around EOS. Click on Projects, and you'll see that the projects on EOS are more plentiful, okay? There's more projects on EOS right now. And in my opinion, I think that EOS is going to do more than Tron, okay? Uh, this is my personal opinion. You know that I'm not a professional crypto advisor. I'm just a crypto maniac boomer. Do your own research. Secure your own bag. You know the deal out there. If you're a boomer uh, by now, you should know the deal. Uh, you know, it's about personal responsibility out here and doing your own research. Don't take my word for it, crypto boomers. Make sure you do your own research. But again, uh, when I'm doing my research here that I'm reflecting on and talking about here, and uh, conversating on here, uh, I look, it looks like EOS has more dApps, okay? So, you know, uh, you know, arguably, they, they could be the stronger project, but, you know, again, that's my opinion, and, uh, sh you know, I could be biased, okay? Let's check out a little bit more here. Um, you can see uh, Lab Ledger, EOS Arabia. You can see not all of these are tokens. Some of these are uh, uh, decentralized communities. Uh, but you know, there's definitely, it seems like more things are happening on top of EOS than, uh, they are on Tron, but Hey, you know, I, I could be wrong. If you're a Tron boomer and you're a believer, educate me a little more, drop a comment below. I'd like to learn more. Uh, you know, I'm not holding the Tron bag. I'm more focused on EOS, but, uh, you know, I have nothing bad to say about Tron. I mean, they kaboomed when they first came out. And like I said, their, uh, trading volume at one point, a 24 hour trading volume was higher okay higher than bitcoin at one point which really caught my attention a few months back uh let's see when tron launched uh if i'm not mistaken tron launched uh, sometime in uh you know back in october and, and i i noticed that the trading volumes in december and january were really high look at the spike uh you know once once people you know caught wind of the tron it kaboomed all the way up to uh you know almost you know what like 25 cents at one point and, uh, you know, it dumped and now it's been steadily moving up, you know, when there's, you know, there's peaks and valleys here, but it looks like an upward trend. We're somewhere around uh, where we're at now, it's six cents, um, you know, perhaps Toronto Kaboom, uh, uh, you know, sooner than later. Now, one thing I do want to note that uh, usually when projects are launched, when they first come out, you'll see a spike, you know, like when Tron, you know, people first caught wind of Tron, you see a spike and then a dump. What I'm questioning here, okay, is if the same thing will happen with uh, EOS. You see that when it first came out, a spike and a dump, and then it dumped, and now it's, you know, th this this graph here still looks like it's an upward movement, but uh, there's some more volatility here than uh, uh, compared to Tron, okay? Again, I like EOS. I like EOS, but it's important to note that there's a lot of fudsters and non-believers out there that uh, are claiming that this thing is not going to work. We know that EOS is launching June. I, I usually say June 1st, but um, I read somewhere there's, it's actually June 2nd. Okay, so when it's launched, uh, make sure that before it launches that you register your tokens. You could do that with one click on the Exodus wallet, or you could do it on my Ether wallet uh, with the instructions uh, that I have provided below. I have a video link provided below. Okay um eos i like to call it ethereum on steroids it seems like a boomer it smells like a boomer we know that mr dan larimer is behind it same gentleman behind uh steam it and BitShares. he's the one that developed those two platforms and when it comes to tron uh you'll see that a uh, tron uh it's led by a uh, another character justin i forgot his last name justin uh he, he let me see if i can find him here on this website uh, Justin is the, the main, main leader out there of, of Tron. I think that this may be his picture there. Justin Sun, that's him. And, uh, you know, he's kind of a crypto celeb. And we see that most of these larger blockchains, they have the main developer face behind them. Ethereum has Vitalik. Uh, Litecoin has Charlie Lee. Uh, you got EOS has Dan Larimer. Cardano has Mr. Hoskinson. And uh, we have Justin Sun over there that's pushing Tron. Tron. Okay, big in Asia, big in Asia from what I'm seeing here. Uh, and I want to learn more, you know, Tron, like I said, seems to be targeting the gaming community and content creation, while EOS is an overall plat decentralized operating system platform for all kinds of dApps and whatnot. We do know, okay, that uh, EOS will be the first blockchain 
with a constitution, okay? You can learn more about the ideas behind the blockchain governance and constitutions with uh, two videos that I have linked down below. It's interesting to me if you're inter uh, inter interested in the governance of the blockchain. Uh, this will be the first blockchain with a constitution. Uh, they're setting up a way to uh, resolve disputes, okay? This is, you know, a problem that many blockchains run into as far as uh you know resolving disputes how are they going to do it how are they going to handle it uh check out eos i'm excited guys about eos because of all the airdrops that they're promising airdrops if you don't know they're an alternative to ico where companies promote their project simply by giving out a bunch of free tokens to those that are holding a particular token in this case if you were holding eos you've got an airdrop some eos dac tokens and once the main net launches not launches it's rumored that more airdrops will occur i have videos uh, as well about you know covering airdrops and some of the top airdrops that are said to occur on eos now what i don't know Okay, if airdrops are occurring on Tron, I do assume that, yes, they are occurring, but I can't uh, verify that, okay? I mean, the only real dap that I, that's really came up on my radar that is associated with Tron is this GIF2. Uh, GIF2 is already live, so uh, you can learn more about that. Uh, GIF2 is a project, is the first incubation project of Binance and the fastest selling open cell project in Asia. Okay, that's uh, interesting to know. It enables community participants from different platforms to work together, create, review, and customize a wide range of high quality virtual GIFs for content creators around the world. Okay, and uh, you can check this out. I'll have everything linked down below Tron State of DApps. You can see uh, EOS Index, check out their DApps. Uh, but the point of this video, guys, is just a question. What do you think? Tron versus EOS, which one will have a more successful launch? Uh, we do see the price of Tron is a lot cheaper than EOS. The price of Tron is $0.06 cents today compared to the price of EOS at eleven eighty seven. But it's important to note that the circulating supply of Tron is much higher than that of EOS. You have $65 billion uh, Tron, 65 billion, 748 million Tron circulating right now compared to EOS, compared to EOS, which only has 887 million tokens circulating right now. And a total of 900 million will be issued. Uh, I guess they're that final batch, those finer, final, uh, that difference there is going to be issued in these final days. Uh, leading up to the blockchain the way that eos has been distributing their token is through a dutch style ico auction where they uh, sell a limited amount per day that way uh, the idea behind it is that every day they sell i think about two thousand or twenty thousand i'm not sure the amount but every day they sell a set amount and they've been doing that for the past year and the idea behind it is that it prevents a whale from buying all the tokens at once since you know you got to buy them each day there's only a certain amount it spreads the love it's the crypto way spread love it's the crypto way the boomer way guys so stay focused out there stay ready out there have your storm supplies ready have your uh, perishable goods secured and have your uh, shutters uh, ready just in case you have to put you know pull them up on this crypto storm uh, that just passed over us this weekend. I let you guys know that historically uh, there's a dip and a sell-off on holiday weekends and we saw no exception this weekend on the Memorial Day weekend. It was a bloodbath out there, but luckily the crypto maniac boomers in the foxholes of the blockchain battlefield trenches secured the bags out there heeding those buy orders and hodl advisories worldwide. If you're one of those boomers, let me know. Drop a comment below. I need you guys to kaboom, smash uh, the upvote button, the like button, the subscribe button, and uh, make sure you tune into the good crypto word. It's important. I need you to drop a comment. I want to know where you're waving your platoon crypto flag from, and let me know what you think will have a more successful launch, Tron or EOS, guys. My vote, you know, is EOS being that I've been focused on EOS, but that is not to say that Tron can't kaboom. Okay, I have nothing against Tron, although I'm not, you know, staking it, but, uh, you know, I got my eyes on it. Now, I do expect, uh, you know, a rise up to the mainnet launch, and perhaps after these mainnets launch uh, this week, we may see a dip in price. Now, historically, we've seen that with almost all projects. It spikes up and then it dumps. At that point, I will contemplate whether I want to buy more EOS or if I want to move in to Tron, because it seems like both of these tokens have a promising future okay according to the information that i'm gathering here on the interwebs okay i want you guys to let me know your opinion 
Drop a comment below. Tron versus EOS, which one will be more successful? Let me know what part of the globe you're waving your crypto flag from. And uh, let me know uh, what's really booming out there. If you've had uh, wins or losses, uh, what kind of positions you're taking out there worldwide. What are you buying and hodling? Guys, it's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in.